Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we helped these guys get their arena open, and now we're going to partake in them. Some of the weapon rewards look Let's see incredible. How you do against our machines. Okay, are you ready to put your machine hunting skills to the ultimate test? Jump into the arena, take on the strongest machines, and escalating challenges. Complete challenges to earn arena medals that can be traded for the prize master for unique and extremely powerful gear. Choose your weapons and tend to your health before entering the arena. You won't get a chance to do so once inside. Oh, look at this. Damn. Okay. So, some of these should be pretty basic. They're, they are timed. This will be fun. There's an entry fee? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, we, we'll do what we can. Until we run out of shards. Um, I don't have electric bows at the moment. These guys I can probably take down real quick. Bigger ones, less so. Ouch. Come on. Berries, berries, berries. I mean, this is going to be harder than I might have anticipated. Too much dilly dallying for me. So the time, it doesn't just stop us. Okay, I might just let it kill me here. Okay. That's actually going to be pretty challenging. Obviously, we could take them down faster, but um, it's a hundred every time. That's this is actually going to be quite intense. We might not be spending as much time here as I thought. Um. Okay. Oh, jeez. I can't abandon it now. I definitely should have switched this. I don't have shock at all. But 
that's a hundred percent what I what I need to have going on here. That's, just, that's pretty intense. <laughs> that's pretty intense. We'll come back. We'll come back. I was like, I thought we would just like fly through some of these. You have guts, champion. But uh, I'm gonna swallow my pride a little bit. Same with the last challenge that we ran into. But we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. Uh, let's return to the base. We'll jump to here. If we would have, we could switch out to our, um, to our shock bow and stuff, and that'll make a huge difference. Uh, but I don't want to spend all of my earnings either. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Oh, sorry. Who's this? Ready for an I've got nothing to report. What? Look geared up for battle. Always a smart choice. If you choice. walk by, you'll miss out on Don't a good trade. Don't have much trade. to say right now, champ. Okay, I guess she has not much to say, but she wanted to tell us that she had not much to say. Fair enough. This? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? <laughs> Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> They call it a, a <laughs> concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Oh, Katolo. good. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. 
Well, I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. <laughs> well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> A fun barrel. Enzo. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. The old ones created so many wonderful inventions to help others, to help the planet. Technology really can be an amazing thing. Damn. Nice. 330 shards right there. Only for you. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. <laughs> yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunbill. And now I do, <laughs> sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? Already been it useful, takes man. Some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I better go. Right. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. I always love these type of sections because they're a little bit of a palate cleanser, you know? Wait. Should this not be gone? Eh, whatever. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. <laughs> Have you gone back to plain song at all? Why would you I when you got this place? It, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. <laughs> when our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. 
The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. Oh, that's cool. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. Neat. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. I couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. Man, good for her. That's really impressive. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenith? She did, though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here it is humbling, to say the least. Sure. And heartbreaking. Say that, that such again. Such life should be bent on destroying ours. What are you up to? 
Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming <laughs> system. Yes, you got it right. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes, the Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids, but Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah, she's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakhs don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. <laughs> yeah. Past, to say the least. Reborn? Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be any type of right. Mass Effect go. choice. I shall return to our training then. Going on with these companions, maybe being able to save people or not. Varl, how are things going? He's gonna be like, I like girls. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. How's, uh, training with Zoe? You know we really are training. <laughs> Mostly. Look, yeah. she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. <laughs> you guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. Told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. Mm -hmm. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second, I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Aaron definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. 
yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Okay, cool. Now on subsequent visits, uh, we shouldn't have as much deep diving with these guys. Um... Is this Catalo's room? Oh, looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. I see you found your room. Oh, this is my room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. Thank you. I was thoughtful of them. Very cool. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're going to stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Where it'll be safe. Makes sense. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Farzenith, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. If I wish that if there were multiple um, things to examine, it would just go through all of them. When Varl found me after the Hades proving lab, I thought I saw Rust. Yeah, that's true. I don't think he'd understand any of this. Or what I have to do. Still, wish he was here. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the end. Yeah, the knife. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Argalo's attack at the embassy. The marshals. Ambushed and surrounded, killed one by one. Reminds me of the massacre at the Proving. Back in the sacred lands. So many lives wasted. And for what? Okay. I was thinking we would see Catalo. He's probably like. Probably laying down. The old ones use holograms. <sighs> Door's locked. But I'm just gonna Maybe see. Maybe I will be able to get it open later. Holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if it's holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. Maybe. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Well, isn't that convenient? Well, that's gonna haunt my nightmare. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room. AI. Oh, they're sharing. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia. And gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru <laughs> here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Yeah, she's a badass. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. 
For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took... a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. That's pretty smart. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings. And... Oh, pterodactyls! ...into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well... I'm honored he lent me his best marshal, at least for a little while. Indeed. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the Ten walk with you. My man. Okay. Um... If we wanted to get Wide Maw overrides, we could. We need a couple of different things. We'll have to wait. All right, tell you what, let's stop here. Uh, we're going to come back, talk to Gaia, and then uh, head out and start working on getting the other subsystems online. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.